That's a Federation signal. You sure you don't need to answer that? It's none of your business. <laughs> That's a bit cold. Stop deflecting. I want an answer. I'm here. I told you, the destruction of the comet was an accident. Sinking it was never a part of the plan. I didn't order them to attack your ship either. It was just a tantrum by an immature Valkyria. But now you understand, don't you? Those things aren't meant to exist. They're dangerous and cruel weapons, and humanity can't control them. That's why I ask you. I'm the one asking questions here. <laughs> I was given this transceiver by one of the refugees, or one of your spies mixed in with them. Is that why they came? Did you attack that village and drive them out just to get this to me? <laughs> I talked to those refugees, Kai. A lot of people died in that attack. Children, the elderly, pregnant women. Did you know what would happen when you gave that order? Yes. Sacrifices had to be made. <sighs> Soldiers aren't the only ones who put their lives at risk. You've seen it yourself, haven't you? Changing the world takes compromise. Otherwise, the tragedies of history will only be repeated. All that matters is that you accomplish your goal. Only that can justify the sacrifices you've made. Plot said the same thing. If we don't do something, the tragedy will never stop. We have to believe in our goal and keep moving. I see. Our perspectives may be different, but he and I are one and the same. No, you're not! You say the same things, but couldn't be further apart! Claude told us no matter how tough things get for Squad E, whatever sacrifices we make, we have to keep fighting for the sake of everyone! He would never hurt innocent people for some cause! He's nothing like you! My cause is not nearly so trivial as Claude's. I'm disappointed. I thought you of all people would be on my side. I am! I'm the only family you have. So please listen to me. I've done everything you asked me to do. But you've changed, Kai. This war has changed you. You went to the Empire to use their power, but you ended up no better than them. You're selfish and cruel, and you toy with human life. All you do is cause more tragedy! You don't care about peace. All you care about is... your own twisted cause! Is that why you called me out here? To tell me all... this? That's right. I don't take orders from you anymore. So... If this is where we part ways, what do you plan to do? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to fight the Empire, and I'll fight you, together with my allies. <laughs> allies? The same allies you betrayed? <laughs> you chose to be a spy. You cannot deny that. Shut up! Who really killed those hundreds of Federation soldiers on the Crystal Sea? You think you can redeem yourself now? No. Never mind redemption. Can you even forgive yourself? I will never forgive myself. I'll carry that with me, but I will keep moving forward. Can you, Lena? Kai! What are you... What? Well, well. Scaredy Claude in the flesh. You've grown up. K kai 
and Raz. This does take me back. You never change. <sighs> and the lovely Riley Miller. Always out of our league. I recognized you instantly. I'll take that as a compliment. Kai, what are you doing here? Why are you dressed up like an imp? I don't go by Kai anymore. It's for Seti now. I'm an officer of the Imperial Army. You're with the Empire? Then Lena... <sighs> I believe we've already reunited on the battlefield. Albeit indirectly. Didn't you notice? If not, maybe you haven't grown as much as I'd hoped. <sighs> Hold on. This is Kai? You mean... the real one? Does that mean he's a spy for the Federation? A double agent? Th that's incredible! So you went undercover to beat the Imperial Army from the inside out. <laughs> I've missed this, Riley. You always had quite an imagination. No. I'm no spy, though I did plan to spy among you. Or at least, she used to be one of mine. Huh? What are you getting at? I joined the Imperial Army of my own free will. That's the truth. I'm working for a cause. I need power to see it through. This world is twisted, and I'm going to change it. Kai! War has changed, Claude. Nations fight each other, but it's not about territory or resources anymore. The system we know as war has been twisted beyond the human desires and competitions that sparked it. It's become its own culture, its own catalyst, its own reason, Claude. It's human insanity made manifest. I saw that insanity myself. I saw the way war had been twisted, and I vowed to stop it. Claude, if you wish to know the truth, then join me. I could tell from our battles how skilled a commander you've become. I'd welcome you with open arms. You think? Wait, goddammit! Kai! <laughs> the Imperials are here! We're pulling out! It's begun. What has... I gave you the trigger. Your memory should come back. Never forget how much blood will be spilled because of you. Because of your power. Blood? Oh, that was Riley! A friend of yours? Perhaps she'll be the first to pay the price. Then go back. Go back to the people who chose you. And then, finally... Huh? <sighs> go. Now. Okay. I hope I see you again, miss. Yes. I'm sure you will. Lady Cremaria! What? Did, did any Federation soldiers come this way? We were in pursuit, but we've lost them. They've been dealt with. I melted them down until nothing was left. <laughs> Angie, how are we supposed to live like this? Who can we... What can we believe in?
Okay, everyone's here. Wait, Rags is gone. What? But he always stays when I tell him. Did something happen? <laughs> Rags! Is that... Andy? What are you doing here? We can talk later. Right now we need to leave. They're rolling out. Hang on tight. Fantastic. With this much fuel, we can go for weeks without losing speed. Not just fuel, either. Weapons, ammo, trucks full of this stuff. That's a huge help. Take the food to the galley immediately, and pack the ammunition for easy access. We'll use their own shells to tear through their armor. It doesn't get much better than that. Uh, there's egg milk and sugar, too. We gotta get the cook to whip up some eggnog. Hey, it is practically the holidays. And I miss my mom's cooking. Hoffin before the rest of you. Seeing him didn't shake me up too badly. People change, and there's nothing we can do about that. But Kai, how much do you really know about all this? I'm as convinced as you. He never really told me anything. He just dropped his cryptic hints. But if I told you what I do know, it would only hurt you. So I can't. Riley, Claude. You know Kai. The one who's been on our side the whole time, I mean. She's not the kind of person to lie or hide anything. So if she says she can't tell us, she means it. Please, just don't push her on this. Raz. Wow. When did you turn into a cool guy? Huh? I didn't know you had it in you. Riley. <laughs> Raz got there before I could. What? I trust Kai too. I mean, we're all friends here. Yeah, we were friends way before any of this military stuff. You guys. I'm sure we'll find out when the time comes. If she can't tell us now, I won't ask. Is that okay with you, Kai? What? See, Kai? We're good, right? Everyone. Everyone. I'm... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, Andy. You know everyone would be really sad if something bad happened to you, right? So, you can't run off without telling anyone, okay? Sorry. You can just tell someone if you want to get off this ship, you know? We could take you someplace safe. No! I like being on the ship! I like everyone here! I just wanted to be useful, and I thought maybe being in town would help me remember. Angie. Just seeing you smile is enough for everyone here. The battlefield is scary. Sometimes we forget how to smile. So, we're all glad you can help us remember. You don't have to worry about being useful to us. We just want you to be happy, okay? Riley... But you wanted to get your memories back, huh? Did you remember anything about your past? <sighs> I... um... a little... It's fine, though. You don't have to force it. If you don't have any memories, we can make some new ones. Everyone here can help you with that. New memories? 
Then I think it's time for new memory number one. Since you said you're sorry... Ta-da! Your big sister Riley's special homemade pudding! Pudding? Hmm? Oh, do you not like custard pudding? I don't know. I've never had it. Wait, you've never had pudding? Not even once? I don't think so. Wow. Maybe your family was super strict? Well, I promise it tastes really good. Go ahead and try it. Okay, thank you. Lots more where that came from, so have as much as you want. Okay. Thank you, Riley. Running off without a word? You scared the shit out of me. I still came back, right? Yeah. As long as you're here, I'm good. <sighs> Sorry. I guess I made you worry. I made trouble for you, too. Hey, no big deal. You know I'd do anything for you. That's what I mean. I, um, I took advantage of your kindness. Uh, uh, oh, damn it! I can't take it anymore! What are you? Gah, son of a... That hurt, man! Don't get ahead of yourself. Damn it, there's more? Idiot. Huh? Worked better than a punch, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now that's a knockout. I hope the sheets haven't been blown away. Huh? Is that smoke? Wait, that smells like... Always best right after a mission. Rose! A Angie? Uh, crap. Okay, uh, well, this isn't like. Is that a cigarette? Uh, yep. Yep, that, uh, that, yeah, that's a cigarette. It kind of reminds me of home. Huh? Wait, Angie. You can remember stuff now? Just a little. I don't know for sure, but I think my papa smoked too. He'd sit out on the porch and look out over the empty farmland and drink from his bottle. And he'd smell just like this. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I can put it out. No, it's okay. I actually don't mind the smell. Really? That's weird. I thought women and kids are supposed to hate this stuff. If they didn't, I wouldn't have to sneak around like a thief in the night just to get a smoke. You're not allowed to smoke? Will your captain get mad at you? Uh, not exactly. I just have a friend who doesn't like me smoking. And I don't want him mad at me, so... I told him I quit. <gasps> You're in love with him, aren't you? What? Well, I mean, I, I, I guess I... You're gonna give up something you like for the sake of someone you love? That's amazing, Raz! You're so cool! Well... I'm only out here because I can't stop doing something I like. Anyway, that's the deal, so... Can we just keep this between you and me? I gotta 
keep Raz's smoking a secret. Okay, it's a secret. I promise. Right, it's a promise. <laughs> oh, and another thing. You can't smoke here anymore. Huh? Why? You said you were okay with it. I'm okay with it, but these sheets are for the sick bay. You can't stink them up. And besides, Pi sometimes comes here to get fresh air. Yeah, fine. I get it. I'll be careful. Hey, wait! H how'd you know it was Kai? You just told me. <laughs> Good luck, Raz! Ah! Th this is adult stuff, damn it! Keep your nose out of it! Okay! Oh, goddamn kids these days. This is the full list of missing supplies, sir. Hmm. They weren't here for that long, but they managed to steal quite a bit. It's impressive, certainly. Huh? But an operation like this would have been impossible without an inside man. Of course, the resistance. We need extra rope on the starboard side. Check the landing crafts. Get those engines ready to run. That should be all the supplies loaded, sir. We're just about done with refueling, too. It would appear we're almost ready for the grand finale. Do you think Squad E will be back in time for departure? It certainly would be a problem if they missed the boat. From here on out, we'll be racing against time itself. I can understand wanting to thank the Resistance. We wouldn't have these supplies without them. But Operation Six is our greatest priority. I do hope Mr. Wallace is aware of that. But there's still the issue with our main reactor. Brian, would you mind accompanying me for a moment? Well, I'll be. Ain't every day I see you wandering around down here. Thought you'd taken root in the bridge. <laughs> You're as chipper as always, aren't you? It's nice to see you in person once in a while. Orders over the intercom just aren't the same. So, what's the occasion? I reckon you didn't come all the way down here just to talk to an old grease monkey. I have business in the Forbidden Sector. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to... Yeah, I figured. The main reactor hasn't made a peep since that mess. Come on, Roland. I know there's some kind of secret with that reactor. Can't you let me in on it? I'm sorry, old friend. I'm afraid that's not something I can do, even for you. Good. Fine, fine. I guess it's up to you to get that done. Well, shall we? Oh. The reactor's still empty. Not much time left now. I understand, sir. I'll bring it back at once. No. It won't fully activate unless it's here of its own free will. That's what all the briefings said. Then... It'll have to return willingly. Until then, we wait. Do you think it will return, sir? Will it come back for us? <sighs> This must have been such a beautiful city before all this. This neighborhood resisted occupation the hardest. When the Imperials came, they destroyed everything. I can 
can see Imperial patrols all over the place. See that building next to the central plaza? Yeah. That's where General Manuel is being held captive. He's an important contact we had within the Empire. He's been accused of cooperating with the Resistance. They've taken him in for questioning. Was it because of the supplies we took in that op earlier? Yes, but they won't find any evidence. He's an influential figure in the Empire. Ordinarily, he'd be questioned for a day or two, then acquitted. But this time we got unlucky. The one leading the investigation is Major Burke. A real witch hunter. Practically a one-man inquisition. He's held a grudge against Manuel for a while now. The General interfered with one investigation too many. He'd fabricate whatever evidence he needed if it would push Manuel towards a death sentence. Sounds like a real charmer. Why don't we just take out all the soldiers around here? That'd be quicker, right? No. Even if we liberated the city, the Imperials would be here in days to take it back, with more troops than ever. If that happened, I don't know if the Resistance could hold them off on their own. We work in the shadows. We don't have the raw power to fight the Imperial Army head-on. That's why we're putting all our eggs in your basket. I know we're pushing the responsibility on you, but... That's not true at all. You're fighting the Empire just like us. Take pride in that. Thank you. Truth be told, I've got a baby on the way. My wife is due this spring. That's why I want this war over before then. That's why I'm fighting beside you. If our baby remembers hearing anything from these years, I want it to be birdsong, not gunfire. Sounds like a good future to me. And we'll be the ones to make it happen.